here's some more info on the A10A aircraft UHF radio printed circuit boards and connectors. We'll turn the unit over. You might remember inside there's two circuit boards sandwiched with the components on the inside. This, this circuit board sandwich just lifts out, pops off its interconnecting plugs and sockets. I notice there's one external connector for the, the main face of the radio with the potentiometers and rotary switches underneath. One external connector, one external connector on the printed circuit board assembly, and then there's the interconnections between the two pieces. Yeah, so here's the printed circuit board. I had to leave a couple of screws in to get this to work, but the rest of them are already removed. You'll see there's a component behind this plastic cover. The cover's not holding the boards together at all. They're held, they're held together by the four screws in these posts and a couple of screws on the top of this external connector. So this is the um, this is the bottom of the panel with the external connector coming out. We can open up this PCB sandwich. If we pop up the pop off the plastic cover, there you go. It's a little difficult to get the lighting right for this because there's a heavy protective coating on the circuit board covering all the components that tends to reflect the light. But you'll see the two halves of the board. I will show some close-up photos at the end of the video to give you a bit more detail. Yeah, pretty basic. I guess this is just the head unit for the radio. So this these PCBs don't contain all the components for the UHF radio. They're just running the control panel and the connections back to the main unit. I'm not sure where that is on the aircraft. There's one of the circuit boards. There's the other one. These are the sockets for the connections between the two circuit boards. There's the external connector. And then there's the pin headers for the interconnects. No external connector on this board. What you can see is where the board sandwiches together. There's the cover, the small plastic cover with a cutout that fits over this component when it's assembled. That looks to me like a 33 microfarad capacitor. I'm not sure what the reason is for having it covered with this plastic cover when the boards are together. It's not like it's a fuse or something that's, that's designed to be easy to remove because it's through hole soldered onto the board. So an interesting one, that one, rather unusual. As I said, photos to follow. Hope this was another interesting, useful video. Thanks for watching.